This is another video looking at the FLIR UAP video released by the US Navy. In my last video I looked at the apparent motion of the UAP. At one point I said that the image polarity was changed, but I realised after watching a Mick West video that I was wrong. It's not a polarity change, but a change to TV mode rather than infrared. That got me thinking that I might be able to do some image analysis of the TV image. This section of the video is in IR mode, as you can see at the top of the screen. Then the mode is changed to TV. I have a 6 inch reflecting telescope, and I've previously used some software called Registax to analyse videos I've taken of planets like Jupiter and Saturn. The software works by taking the individual frames of the video, stacking them together and then averaging them to produce a single image. There are then some controls for sharpening features in the image. As a quick example of how this works, here's a video I took of Jupiter. It's quite blurry and each frame is distorted and blurred by the atmosphere. First of all I load the video into Registax. The first thing I need to do is align all the frames so that I can stack them together. I do this by selecting key points in the frame and the software tries to find these points in each frame and align them. I pick points all around the shape. There are also some moons just visible so I put points on them. I also put some points on some dark bands just visible in the image. Then I press align and the software tries to line up all the frames. The limit button allows you to select how many frames to use by discarding some frames of lower quality. Now we press stack to merge all the frames into a single image. At first glance the image seems to be not significantly improved, but there's still one step to go. We can use these sliders to sharpen features in the image. Each slider sharpens features of a different scale. You can see the scale by the red-green patterns here. For the feature size I'm interested in here, probably the second and third sliders are the most interesting. You can see that the second slider reveals or sharpens some features, including the dark bands, but also introduces a bit of noise. I try to sharpen the image but not introduce too much noise. The third slider reveals a couple of dark spots on the middle band, but if we overdo it we lose some of the finer details. I don't have a good method for getting the best picture, it's just really trial and error. There are a few other features you can play with. Once you're happy, you can save the final image. Here it is on roughly the same scale as the video. If I play the video, you can see that frames in the video are all blurry and each frame is distorted a different amount. We've made a clear improvement in the final image, including picking out some features on the bands that were not really visible in the video. So can we do anything with the UAP video? It will probably be harder because we have fewer pixels in the image, but let's try. I'm going to take the last two seconds of the TV part of the video, as the image seems largest at the end. I don't want to take too much of the video in case the orientation of the object is changing over time. I just pick a few points around the edge of the UAP.
Now align the image and stack it. From the feature sizes, it looks like the first two or three sliders might be the most useful. After playing around a bit, there seem to be some features in the image. It looks to me like there's a feature in the middle at the bottom and another feature at the top on the right. It also looks possible that some of the image might be obscured by the vertical bars. This bit is highly speculative, but just for a bit of fun, let's take a picture of an aircraft and adjust the size and resolution and make it a bit blurry. I'm not really convinced. Perhaps a fighter might be a better fit, but it's hard to say without knowing the attitude of the aircraft. I'd say that a reasonable conclusion would be that the UAP is not a completely smooth tic-tac shape, but has some features. There's one more thing I'd like to look at. I want to compare the IR image with the TV image. I've got the last good IR frame before the TV mode and the first good TV frame at the same scale. The two frames are less than one second apart. This is the IR frame loaded into GIMP. I can load the TV frame as another layer in GIMP. Then I can make the TV image partially transparent to show the IR image underneath. You can see that the shape in the IR image is smaller than the shape in the TV image. I interpret this to mean that not all of the object is hot and the IR image only shows the hot part. We can't really tell which part is hot as we don't know exactly how to align the images, but I'm reasonably confident that there's one hot region of the object and other parts are cooler, so you don't see the whole shape in the IR image. This video has been a bit speculative, but I think we can make a couple of tentative conclusions. First of all, I would say that the object is not a smooth tic-tac shape. There are features that could be wings or control surfaces. Secondly, a comparison of the TV and IR images at the same zoom shows that the hot part covers only part of the object. Perhaps this suggests one or more engines. I conclude that this is probably not the object encountered by Commander Fravor. If that's correct, then none of the analysis of this video can be used to either support or dispute Commander Fravor's account. I'm not an expert in using the Registax software, so I might not be using it in the most effective way. I've seen some really impressive results on some planetary images. If anyone has any advice on the best way to use it in this application, let me know in the comments.